located in North Bali, Indonesia, and today I'm going to take you deep in the jungle and tour some of the most popular waterfalls in North Bali. Many beautiful landmarks all over the island have gained so much attention. Enjoying them with such dense crowds is impossible. So hang out while I show you some secret secluded gems, and towards the end, I will show you how to find it. Enjoy. Good morning, we're in Manduk. This morning we're going to check out our room. We've been here for two days. The plan is to check out two or three different waterfalls that's in the Wanagiri area. So this is a room we've been staying in the past few days. It's located in the Wanagiri Manduk area on the mountainside the overlooking the Twin Lakes. You can access five or ten different waterfalls in less than 20 minutes of time of where this hotel is located. So if you're on a road trip looking at a bunch of different waterfalls, going on a bunch of different adventures, and you want a place to stay that's more or less on a budget in the 200 price range per night, there are other hotels on this road that cost a bit more in the 400 to 600 plus. I saw several that's 2 million plus per night. So it's more or less what you're looking for. If you're kind of on a budget, you want to travel around and not spend a bunch of money on a room, you're not really going to spend a whole lot of time in. This could be a hotel that'll work for you. Got all our stuff ready to go. Got our clothes, toiletry stuff, and everything else. Got our breakfast here, pancake and some fried banana. Venue Mala, that's our parking fee. You know, I've just been having a really bad day. I'm just gonna punch this tree into pieces. Okay. 30,000. So far, this is our hike down. It's uh, stairs made of roots of a tree. So it's a pretty steep set of stairs from here going down to that bridge you see off in the distance which is where we'll also cross. So about 10, 15 minutes later, we made it to the waterfall. It was all stairs the entire way down. There's a couple little small streams you cross, but pretty much it was a really easy hike. There's probably like 15 to 25 people here. So it is a more of a popular spot. It's also Saturday as well. It's quite open, so you're not trapped in the jungle. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of mist blowing around. So you can stay relatively dry. Lots of photo spots to take pictures. This bridge, bridge over there, go down to the bottom. The nice thing about a waterfall that's more open, you can kind of stand anywhere and uh, get a lot of good pictures from different angles. That's it for this waterfall. We're gonna head up the hill, hit the road, and we're gonna hop to the next waterfall, which is about maybe a 15 minute drive up and over the hill. Three kilometers down this wet, steep road. We've made it to our next waterfall location called Puchak Manik. For foreigner, it's 50K, and for local, it's 20K. The road coming in was a pretty easy drive. There are some reviews saying that there's potholes everywhere. The very small potholes just ride the brakes and smooth ride all the way down for the first viewpoint it's about 10 minutes a total of four waterfalls not sure if i'll see all four of them but the main waterfall is uh, why i'm here whatever you do don't grab onto the tree the biggest thorn bush you'll ever see in your life i just damn near death grip that thing you can see the waterfall in the distance there hike and the price it was definitely worth the experience. Very unique waterfall. It wasn't just the waterfall, the overall experience of the hike, more jungle-like. A lot of waterfalls just have very detailed paths all the way down. This one felt more, more jungle-like, if that makes any sense.
Look at that bridge. Oh wait, let me get this cinematic shot first. Oh yeah. Well, we're halfway back up the hill now. We uh, had to stop, take some more pictures and videos. So I waited to pull out the, the old vlogging lens. But uh, overall it was a good hike, good adventure. We did two waterfall stops. We won't have time to do the third one. It's five o'clock now. We have to go find a room. We don't even have a room. All of our stuff is in the bike. But uh, we might do it in the morning. Tomorrow's our big waterfall day. It's the main reason why we did this trip is to, the, to do the big, uh, excuse me. I just climbed down, from, climbed up from that. So tomorrow's a big waterfall day. We're gonna do the twin waterfalls. It's an all day thing. It'll take at least three, four hours at minimum just to do that one. So that's the main plan for tomorrow. We'll do the other one that we're supposed to do today only if we wake up early enough in time. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you are subscribed. And the only reason why I say that so you don't miss out on my very next adventure. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Here's a map of showing you where you need to park. The exact location will be listed below. Stay tuned for next week's episode where I'll tour you through the most popular Bali waterfall. I will also show you how I cracked the code of how to easily avoid, in my opinion, Bali's biggest scams in tourism. Yeah.